your hair is dry and this is why hello i'm zero and welcome to five minute hair tips and today we'll be talking all things moisture and moisture retention before we get into the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and follow and subscribe for more content as you may or may not know type 4 hair is prone to dryness this is because the naturally produced oils on our scalp called sebum are unable to travel down our kinky curly and coily hair strands that's why it's important to not only add in moisture but to seal it in properly to enable you to retain moisture for significant periods of time. So I've compiled a list of moisturizing mistakes that you might be making or general reasons why your hair may be dry. So number one, your hair may be damaged and as a result it is unable to absorb or retain moisture efficiently. So for example, you might have protein overload. So protein overload is a situation where there is a moisture and protein imbalance in your hair. One of the symptoms of protein overload is dryness and brittleness. This is because your hair is unable to absorb moisture efficiently and as a result it becomes dry. Or you might have heat damage. Heat damage also damages the cuticle layer and it leaves it open. So as a result, moisture travels into your hair and it travels out of your hair just as fast. And as a result, your hair becomes dry. Number two, you're adding moisture into your hair, but you're not sealing it in. And as a result, your hair is drying up. Remember, every single time you add moisture into your hair, you need to seal it in because if you don't it's either going to evaporate or it's going to dry up and when it dries up it dries up with your hair so from my natural hair q and a's and my dms i find that the two most common reasons why people don't seal in moisture is one they don't know that they're supposed to seal in moisture so i'm telling you now seal in your moisture or number two you think you're sealing in moisture but you're actually not so this confusion usually comes with oils because there are two types of oils there's a moisturizing oil and there's a sealing oil moisturizing oils are absorbed by the hair and sealing oils sit on top of the hair and they seal in any moisture that you've added into your hair so make sure that you're using moisturizing oils to moisturize and sealing oils to seal in the moisture number three you're sealing in dryness and as a result your hair is becoming dry and greasy so what happens in this situation is just the flip of the previous situation so you may be applying a sealing agent into your hair without applying a moisturizing agent before it so you're simply just sealing in dryness and as a result your hair becomes dry and in many cases when you're doing when you're using a sealing oil your hair becomes very greasy so obviously in order to combat this you just need to make sure that you're applying a moisturizing agent prior to using a sealing agent number four you are using the incorrect moisturizing technique so there are many like many moisturizing techniques that you can use but the most commonly known are the LOC and the LCO but you shouldn't limit yourself to these two techniques so what LOC stands for it means that you apply your products in the order liquid or leave-in oil and then cream and then I said LOC right? yeah LOC. and then this LCO that means that you apply your products in the order liquid or leave-in cream and then your oil so i use the l-o-b-o -O technique which means i apply my products in the order liquid my liquid of choice is water mixed with aloe vera juice my first o is a, is a moisturizing oil which is a mixture of avocado and olive oil and then the b stands for butter and my butter is sheer butter based and then my last o is a sealing oil which is jamaican black castor oil this is the moisturizing technique that works for me because it helps me retain moisture for extended periods periods of time so you shouldn't limit yourself just to LOC and LCO. Your hair might benefit better from LOCO or maybe your hair might benefit better by reducing it by using LO or just LC. So you must experiment. If you feel like your hair is not getting the best out of your moisturizing technique, don't be afraid to change it. Number five, you are using the incorrect products in your hair. So the first mistake that you might be making is that you're using sealing agents as moisturizing agents. The second mistake you might be making is that you're using moisturizing agents as sealing agents. The third mistake you might be making is that you're using moisturizing agents without sealing agents 
or you're using sealing agents without moisturizing agents. Another mi mistake that you might be making is that you're using products that are too light. So for instance, your hair is not being moisturized effectively because the products that you're using in your hair are too light and your hair will benefit from using heavier products. And the opposite is also true. Your hair might benefit more from products that are lighter than products that are weighing your hair down. Another mistake that you might be making is that I wouldn't say this is a mistake but it's something that may be hindering your hair from being moisturized as, as effectively as possible, is that you're using products that are not compatible with your hair. So maybe the formulation of one brand's products is not compatible with your hair, and no matter what you do, that formulation is just not gonna work for you, and your hair will benefit from you making a switch. That's it from me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any moisture retention tips, more knowledge on the topic, questions, comments, or just general feelings about the video, do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like or dislike, comment, subscribe, and follow, and I'll see you on my next upload.